What is up, guys? Welcome back to another Wyatt's World video. Today, I'm going to be solving a Rubik's Cube. I've solved it. I've learned it for about a week. Um, This is just the method I used. Uh, use in it. There's a T-perm, which I will, um, towards the end, I'll show you how to do it. And I do not need, as you can see in front of me, I do not have anything else. And, yes, I have this. 4x4, four four, solving it the wrong way. I don't even care. Um, yeah, my video didn't post because it said it was locked. That, But um, it was in Lake Tahoe because I went there, as you all know. And um, I got this Rubik's 4x4. Four four. It was solved. I got a parody, and I didn't know what to do. So, my fault. So, right now, I'm going to scramble it. No, I don't have a mirror behind me so that I can see. It takes me around a minute 30. And I don't think think my timer was right because it said it had 26 seconds when I normally only get like 7, a minute and 30. But my best, excuse me, my best time is about... Um, 56 seconds and 19 milliseconds so okay so three two one i just start off on the white cross because that's what everybody tells you to do and that's the easiest cross for me to do sorry if i'm not showing you the side that i'm doing you'll see every other side and how it gets adjusted but I will not be showing you the side that I'm doing right now because I need to look at it. But, okay, that is in the right spot. I'm not going to be speed solving this. I may just, because if I do it on my phone, I can show you guys my speed solves. You won't be impressed by them. I'm going to learn better algorithms like J-perms and stuff. But the T perm's the only really big algorithm that I really know, so. And that is my favorite algorithm because it's very easy to pick up once you learn it. So I've solved the first two layers. The first two layers I did not solve off the internet. Um I watched the Ting Man video and he I did all the first two layers. I just skipped to the um, where he does the third layer, and it will, um, and I learned how to do the T-perm and the chain, but I also learned, um, the first two layers on vacation, um, with my aunt, aunt's boyfriend named Gabe, he really helped me, he came in clutch, he knows how to solve it, so, thank you, Gabe, so, I'm on the top layer, so. Okay, so here's where my T-perm comes in. So, R, U prime, or U I meant, R prime, U prime, R prime, U prime, or F, R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime, and then basically line that up and do T-perm again. Next up, so I have to do that set of moves again. So R, U prime, R U, R U, R U prime, R prime, U prime, R two, and boom, I have solved the cube. So yeah, I've learned how to solve it and I'm pretty impressed. I will do a speed solve on it for you guys. Trust me, you won't be impressed at all, but hey, at least I learned how to solve it. I'm going to learn better algorithms, like I said. Um, and yeah, hopefully 
I can learn how to do... My goal is to at least learn how to do a J-Perm because I watch J-Perm's YouTube channel. And hopefully I can, like, watch or watch it and then be like, ah, I can do a J-Perm. But, um, yeah. So, I just watch lots of cubing channels. But, three, two, one, go. No inspection, too. That's actually pretty hard. I shouldn't have done that. But... Who cares? Um, oh. And maybe sometime in the future I can do a tutorial on how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Once I learn better algorithms, I will still use the beginner's method. Because that's what um, helped me out and you can learn from there. And I am currently in the process of maybe making a second channel. I just need to learn how. So then I can just put all my separate, like, cubing videos on it and stuff like that. So that you guys, because this is not going to just be for cubing, but this is just what I have and do. If you guys are timing this right now, it's probably, like, at a minute. Probably more, like, a minute and 15 seconds or something like that. Ah, crud. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Crap. I literally just messed up my first two layers. Oh, man. Okay. Maybe I'll do one more speed solve after this. Because this is a very disappointing performance. For me. Okay. One more time. So. I do have the cubing timer. And it said I had 26 seconds. But I probably didn't started it late. And was on my second layer or something. I don't know. I'm not going to count that as my best time because I don't think that's right. I'm not sure. I don't. I think it gave me 15 seconds of inspection, and then it said start. But I was like, oh, let's just hit that. So probably did that or something. I'm not sure. That was like an hour ago. I don't remember anything except for algorithms because I do this every single day. None. Okay. Three, two, one, and go. Just had to turn that. I got lucky in that case. Yeah, I got really lucky right here. Hopefully, I don't mess up on my uh, other algorithms like last time. Um. Yeah, so this is probably going to be another poor performance, but hey, soon I'll get better and I'll come back and make another video on my progress soon once I learn other definitely more complicated algorithms. Okay, I'm already on the top layer. Okay, there we go. That was a great... I'm not trying to brag, but that was a flawless T-perm. I literally did that so smooth. The last part I don't think was as smooth as my T-perm was, so... But, hey, that was way better <laughs> than my other ones. But this is a Rubik's brand 4x4. And before we leave.
This should not happen. Rubik's picture cubes. I'm just kidding. But I did hear that they came out with a speed cube, which I'm like, wow. And then with this, you can't do that. So that is it for the video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this. Again, I will be making a video on how to solve a Rubik's Cube, maybe in the future. Um, but, without further ado, and this is my last cubing video for a little bit. Because, um, as you guys can see, my next video is probably going to be towards Sunday night. And I'm going to p get out all my Who Was books. And... I just got a new one out there, so I'll tell you that. But, um, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button. Or, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Please like the video. And hit that notification bell so you can never miss out on a new Wise World video. So, if you do, and the worst very worst possible thing that can happen like if you just unsubscribe that's okay if you do you don't have to but it that's the worst thing you can unsubscribe later but do it now so yeah see ya